All right, man, I've been waiting all day to see this tournament. Let's see what we got here first. All right, Rap versus Wade. It's gonna be a while. Let me get a little housework done. Hey, can't wait to see that tournament. Match should be just about done by now. All right, let's see what we got. They're still playing? Well, I got some yard work to do. All right, surely it's gotta be done by. What the hell is going on? Alright, it's a good time for an oil change. Show. Surely it's got to be complete by now. Oh my god, come on! Oh, at least my food's here. Something that lag can't affect and delay. Hey there. Hey, you're Phil, right? Yeah, I'm Phil. Hey, uh, you ordered fried chicken? I did order fried chicken. All right, 17. 17 even? Keep the change, man. Can I have the uh, food? I'm very hungry. I've already paid you. Finally. Oh, for God's sakes. Really, man? What is the holdup? What the hell? Where's my damn food? Are you kidding me? How in the hell? What? What the fuck? So, what do you think about that, guys? How would you feel if? online stuff affected your real world life. It would kind of suck, right? That was kind of an extreme example, but an example nonetheless. Before we really jump into this, I gotta give a big shout out to Scott and Jess. They have helped me film multiple videos since the quarantine took over and I can't get the tournament. So be sure to go ahead and check out the link in the description, check out their Twitch channel as well as their Twitter. Really cool and good friends of mine. Would love to see you give them a chance. But let's get into it, okay? Let's get right into this We all saw that Evo has officially removed Smash Bros from its online tournament, okay? Now, obviously nobody wanted EVO to be online, but given the circumstances of the COVID virus, this is what we have to work with now. And unfortunately, despite being announced months ago that Smash Ultimate would be returning, it is not the case now. But where did this all start? I'd like to think the Fix Ultimate Online hashtag had something to do with it. You saw very prominent names tweeting about this, and obviously, you know, there's issues, input delay, lag, random disconnects, and all that kind of swells up. And despite the passion you might have for the game, it can kind of come out the wrong way, as we've seen plenty of times. But really, is the stability of the connection the only thing that's truly impacting EVO's decision? We don't really know yet, it's still very early, but some have already started to speculate that Sonic is the culprit behind this removal. Piece of cake! Now I'm not one to buy into conspiracy theories, and I certainly don't think the character alone is the reason why uh, the game got pulled from EVO. It's more than likely something to do with the netcode that's been discussed thousands of times. Obviously you're gonna have a tremendous amount of entrance should it take place, and it's really gonna be hard for people to kind of police that, people dropping out of bracket, lying, demanding lag tests. It's just gonna be way too much, and and to be honest, I can't blame them. But regardless of all that, Sonic still remains a big topic. People are making plenty of videos about this character's impact online, how he's so much better, so hard to deal with, and it's even to the point where you got Sonic mains making tweets and almost like mini tutorials defending their playstyle, which I find hilarious, but it's really gotten to that point. You also notice that some tournaments are electing to ban the character altogether. Regardless of if it's a joke or not, the one that I saw actually got over 700 entrants, so it goes to show you that people appreciated that and they showed up to support it. Now, I've often speculated about hosting my own Smash Brothers tournament, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people actually in my Twitch want me to do it, you know? I'd probably go the way of the Naifu Wars, except I call it the Nigfu Wars, you know what I'm saying? Maybe ban Sonic, ban Zelda, just get a little crazy and stuff like that. Bring back all those fun stages, 
I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate that. But at the end of the day, as hilarious as I think that could be, it's really not fair to the players. I've never been one to try and toss a lot of the heat or hate that certain characters get just directly derived from the player. Look, if you give me the tools to work with to win money from a $10,000 prize pool, I'm gonna take that shit, okay? I'm gonna tweet about it after I win, and as soon as this virus crap passes, I'm going to Vegas and I'm throwing some ones at a couple of strippers, okay? I might even slide my debit card down. <laughs> Let's move on. But what about the legitimacy of these online events, okay? Obviously, Evo has elected to just opt out of Smash, but we have plenty of other events that have already taken place. Things like the Quarantine Series, okay? The Box Tournament, also Pound Online. Those are pretty big events. Now, the Quarantine Series has had a couple of different winners, obviously Sonic's being one of them, so big shout-outs to him, obviously using a character that people hate, but nonetheless, he got the W. And how about Best Nest taking down the box, okay? Over 8,000 people in this, maybe the largest Smash bracket to date, I believe, and he conquered it all, all solo Ness. Then, of course, you have have Cosmos, he won Pound Online, okay, he used a combination of Inkling and Pikachu, but all those victories that those players have amassed, still people continue to try and downplay it, say it doesn't matter, it's absolutely useless. You got people like Leo, who obviously have been upset at a couple of times, even losing to a young prodigy, as Zero would say, uh, in Rat, who is piling Pichu, okay, it's a lot of crazy stuff that happens online, but regardless, you can't deny it takes some amount, if not a high amount of skill to compete at that level and still get the results. But regardless of all those facts, man, you compete in the environment that you can. Some people have even opted to not compete. You see people like Mars and Dark Wizard. You never see them in these kind of online events. You know what I'm saying? I'm imagining they're just sticking to the offline practice. Even if it's just solo dolo, obviously events are going to return at some point. But at the current time, it's just not the case. Now some pros for online play, in my opinion, just the rise and attention that a lot of characters are getting. Obviously, Best Ness, I mean, he has is, he is sparked the masses and lit up the Ness discords, I'm sure. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's already aware of that. How about Cloud, okay? Finally, my boy Cloud getting some good rep. I got a shout out, give some love to my man Spargo. He's become one of my absolute favorite players since this whole quarantine started. Love watching him play, whether it's online or offline. I know when we return to offline events, he's gonna have some success because this kid is just born to smash. And also, it's nice to see Cloud kind of get some some attention not necessarily tied to final fantasy remake obviously a good game and stuff like that but cloud is more just accompanying that nice pair of jugs okay you know you know those sweater cows i'm talking about that tiffa walks around with but nonetheless uh he's up smashing and smashing smashing where it counts now i am wondering if some of these events that are also showing a trend to maybe change things up or just because again the lag is just becoming an issue it's obviously a hot topic no doubt about it but you got someone like Le'Veon bell he competed in the box tournament him and hungry box actually hosting it together and he was not immune from experiencing some lag okay it actually gave people a couple of laughs out of it but you gotta imagine on his end he had to be a little frustrated dealing with it everybody wants to be able to compete at their maximum capacity and just couldn't quite get there. One significant change is actually to the quarantine series, okay? They had a slew of minors and majors lined up, but they've apparently just cut the minors, okay? And now they're just getting right into the majors, okay? And they've actually changed the format of the major. They region locked it, which is pretty nutty, okay? Alpharet made a tweet about it, as well as making it invite only. Any Tom, Dick, and Harry just can't join up and, you know, create a huge large bracket, which a lot of people end up DQing about anyway, but, you know, we're not even talking about that. Also, the huge thing about that tournament that's coming up, I think it's like May 30th, something like that, it's going to be random character select only, okay? Now, obviously, some people, they're probably going to try and grind, you know what I'm saying? Just maybe get another copy of Smash, only unlock the characters that they want to play that they're comfortable with. But regardless of that fact, I like the initiative that Critical and Alfred took to kind of make this more of a fun experience because that's what it started out as, right? It was supposed to be just a fun experience to put some money back into the Smash team. But over the last couple of months, the, the, the community is kind of eroding, you know what I'm saying? Like it's eating itself from the inside out and you're just seeing a lot of toxicity. Uh, which I do believe is derived from the fact that this is the only means we have to compete and because it's for the foreseeable future a lot of people are getting stressed but nonetheless despite all that I do think we're gonna have some good things coming out once uh, offline events resume I can't wait to see some of these online warriors who really again like Spargo just come and start showing out you guys will remember Salem right back in brawl you might not know this but he was touted obviously as a great ZSS but a lot of people credited his success to the fact that it was just online well I'll tell you what this kid started coming to events showing up and guess what he is an apex champion as well as an evo champion so it goes to show you online talent can certainly transfer to the offline space but that's pretty much going to be it for me. I just want to give my opinions and my thoughts. Um, you know, I kind of low-key think that Nintendo themselves might have pulled the plug. You know what I'm saying? I got my tinfoil hat on and stuff like that. But who really knows? Maybe Mr. Wizard just inevitably didn't want to deal with this show that was going to be Smash Ultimate online at Evil. He didn't want to have that attached. You know what I'm saying? He already doesn't particularly care for us Smashers. I think that's pretty obvious. I mean, how many people has he blocked so far? 
But hey, if you're kind of sad about that, I wouldn't be. You got Gamo online, which is coming up, okay? I believe they're still holding Collision online. And of course, the European scene is hosting their own quarantine series. I think they're region locking that one as well. So there are still plenty of events to compete in, as well as just regular sub tournaments that people host. And hey, if you're really so inclined, you can host your own thing, you know what I'm saying? It's all good, it's all love, and at the end of the day, it's all smash. Let me know what you think about it as well, guys, because I'm actually very curious. Personally, I'm kind of digging it to an extent like it's been cool to be able to commentate from the comfort of my own home and the majority of the time i'm not wearing pants you know what i'm saying hell i'm not even wearing pants right now which kind of brings me to my next point ee only fans coming soon subscribe bitches peace <laughs>